that bitch Been that bitch, still that bitch Will forever be that bitch Hey, hey, what is up, YouTube? It's your girl, Baby Girl Toast, aka Tosin, and we are back with another video. As you can see, I look real good, you feel me? Real grown, real sexy. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how I melted my lace to perfection and also how I achieved my baby hairs, how they look like scalp, very much scalp. What lace, sis, you can't find it, period. period. If this is your first time on my channel, welcome. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you're an old subscriber, what's good, BGT gang, and all my hotties? I hope you guys enjoy this video. Yes, you sir. Vibe. You already know what's going on. And we are about to get straight into the video. This hair was sent to me by Beauty Forever Hair. It is their straight honey blonde ombre highlight wig in the 13 by 4 lace frontal in 24 inches, honey inches. Stop playing with me, period. I made sure I washed the hair before I started the tutorial because... And I wasn't trying to get that. So the first thing I do is cut the lace at the back of the frontal because we don't need that anymore. And I place it on my head. I position it to see whether it fits. Obviously, it's not matching the scalp color of my head. Take it off. I put in some compact powder. Now, yes, scalp. Very much scalp. Stop playing with us. So the next thing I do is comb out my hair, put my pins in, because I don't want them in the way of my installation process. So I lay it down with my glossy bee glue, the spray, and the glue itself. I put it on the front of my hairline and also on the cap. I put a lot of glue on there so it actually stays. And I pat it down with a comb. And then I have my blow dryer on the cool setting and I just let that go. Make sure it's tacky enough, you feel me? And then I go in with my spray, do the same process, and go in with your, my hair dryer again. Now it's real tacky. So what I do is push it forward. You do not want to rush with this process. I cut the lid at the middle so I can do each side. So yeah, I take out all my pins and I use my comb to brush it in, brush it in, make sure I brush it in. So the glue is set on and I'm using a brush again to comb it to the back so it's on my hair. Yes, get it girl. I put it back and then I continue this process throughout the hairline. I go with my blow dryer on the cool setting. So I comb my hair out. Yes, girl. You did that. You did that. Yeah, get into it. Stiff what? Stiff what? For real, stiff what? Oh, oh, no way. Stiff what? I'm going to make cuts on each side of the lace. I'm going to take my hair back and then I'm going to begin cutting the actual lace. As you guys can see, there is some glue found on my forehead. So what I use to remove that is some rubbing alcohol or soap and water or in a rag and clean it off. I took off my pins and I went again with my got to be scraped. I use my blow dryer on the cool setting and with the assistance of my small tooth comb, I press down the hair as I go through the hairline. Next thing I do is use an elastic band and I go with the blow dryer on the heat setting to really like press it in. As you guys can see, you can still peep my lace. So what I did was I used my compact powder and I did a little bit of touching at that area put my elastic band on, went again with the heat and brushed the hair out. As you guys can see, as I brush through the hair, there is little to no shedding on my brush. I went to do my makeup and as you can see, there's a huge gap of skin looking weird. So I went with my foundation and placed it on top of my head. Oh my God, I look like I have an egg head, like Humpty Dumpty. <laughs> friend oh my god but like guys can you see like, giving you very much scalp yes sir so now it's time to part my hair i don't like normal parts i like like c-curve kind of parts we're going to go straight into the baby hair so we're taking a section of what we want to use as our baby hairs as you can see 
Now we're pinning it backwards and then we're placing the elastic band and going with the blow dry on the heat setting. You guys can see it's laying flat. So what we do next is to cut the hair shorter. So you cut in a diagonal position and the shorter you cut, the more natural your baby's hair looks. I use Nairobi Rapid Shine Styling Foam to style my baby hairs and as I go in with my baby hairs, honestly it's really trial and error. I start off with a swoop and sometimes I cut it, the baby hairs even shorter to get that kind of natural look and it's easier for me to control the way I swoop my hair backwards. It really is just a swoop. The foam will dry out, don't worry about how it looks right now. It's taking off my makeup that's fine when you see the end result you even notice but yeah so that's what i'm doing pushing it back with the foam and then i go straight in with my elastic band and then i put more foam on the actual hair just to lay down the flyaways i go in with my heat to press on the baby hair so it's really sticking on and then i begin to curl my hair i just use a regular curly one from walmart like nothing really special so i just wait for a little bit and then voila yeah bounce yada <laughs> But yeah, like I was so excited when I did that because it looked so good. I finished it off off camera and I'm just going to show you one last time how I curled it, which is outwards from the hairline. Wait a little bit and then yes. And what I do after I curl my hair, I spray in gloss with really glue to hold it. Just to act like a hairspray. And now is the unveiling of the hairline. What? Yeah. I go in with my toothbrush to comb out the baby hair so it has a more softer look because right now they look a bit plastered. So what I do is to brush out the baby hair so it gives a more softer, natural look. So it really looks like baby hairs. Oh, like look at that. The curls are look so lovely. Are you dumb? As you guys can see, as I come closer to the camera, like how late it is. Ooh, get into it. So one thing I did to fix the makeup that was taking off due to the styling foam was I used a brush and compact powder to tap on those areas. And that was really it. That was all I did. So now I'm going to change my outfit and I'll come back later. I'm going to zoom in for you guys. Melted, I don't You said lace and I wasn't sure what you was talking about. What lace? I don't know what you're talking about. I, I just can't find her. Sis, the curls are Bounce it like stop playing with me. Who gonna check me? Exactly. Bye. Stop playing with me. I mean stupid. Yeah, like so comment down if you think I look so this hair is the bone that comes Frank. Stop playing with me. Like it looks so good. I'm really happy with the way it came out. Like the highlights came exactly like this. I did not touch it at all. The only thing I did was I re-bleached the knots. Hope you guys enjoy this hair tutorial. Also, welcome to the beauty segment of my channel. I know I haven't done a lot of beauty videos, but I do do beauty on my channel. Beauty, lifestyle, chit chat videos. That's like what my channel is basically about. I don't think I've officially said that, but yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this hair tutorial. I will obviously do more hair tutorials and tell me how well I did because this is my first ever hair tutorial. Make sure to give it a thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe if this is your first time. And if you're already an old subscriber, what's popping? Beauty gang. Hope you guys enjoyed enjoy this hair tutorial oh i forgot to say in the video make sure to get this video to 500 likes get me to 500 and i will post the other video if not no video for you guys oh just kidding just kidding okay. just kidding the link of this hair will be in my bio just reminding you guys so yeah that's the end i'm going to sign off by saying go crazy go stupid go stupid go crazy good <laughs> And I will see you back again in my next video. Thank you for coming by. Niggas that tastes like sugar, but ain't shit sweet.